Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's talk about charging and discharging objects and what it means to have extra charge in an object and how does that charge distribute itself on the, on the object. Well, let's say we start with a neutral object. Now these are conductors. Conductors allow charges to move freely, freely throughout, and, uh, throughout the object on the surface of the object. And so let's say that we have a neutral object, which means it has just the same number of protons as does electrons, and now we add additional electrons. What happens? Well, those electrons repel each other, so they want to be as far away from each other as possible, so they distribute themselves evenly on the surface of the conductor, because on the surface is where they're going to be as far away from each other as possible. And so you have an object like that, then, that becomes negatively charged. But if you have a neutral object and somehow you're able to remove electrons, then the object will become positively charged. And again, those charges will distribute themselves equally throughout uh, or around the surface of the object because they want to be as far away from each other as possible. Again, you realize that the positive charges in nature do not move. They're locked in the atoms of a solid at the nucleus. But for uh, what we call for uh, definition's sake, we're always going to say that positive charges can move as well as negative charges in physics. Now, how do we charge objects by induction without actually touching objects? Well, what we can do is we can take a neutral object and we can have it connected to the ground so that the ground is a place where you can essentially put an infinite number of positive and negative charges. And now we move that negatively charged object very close to this object right here. So what's going to happen is this object is going to cause the negative charges over here to be repelled by this object. They're going to move away and they're going to move along this wire into the ground so that this object will now have less negative charges even though we didn't actually touch the object. And then we open up a switch, we disconnect that circuit so no charges can move up and down anymore. Then we move this object away. Now since we had pushed all these negative charges away from this object, this object will now be positively charged as a result and that's called charging by induction. Now if we come over here, we want to get the feel of, well, how much charge is extra charge as an object? So let's say we have one mole of lead atoms. Lead has uh, 206 nucleons in the nucleus and so therefore one mole of lead has a mass of 206 grams. So we take 206 grams of lead and it contains therefore Avogadro's number of lead atoms. If we now add one electron for each 1000 atoms, how much extra charge is that on this lead ball? Now lead ball of uh, 206 grams is not a very big ball like that, maybe the size of a golf ball or something like that maybe even less than that. All right, so we're going to add one electron for every 1,000 atoms. So we multiply one 1,000 times Avogadro's number, and that means we're going to add this number of electrons to that small little lead ball. Now, if we want to know how much charge that is, we take the number of electrons and divide by the number of charges per coulomb. And so when we do that division, we realize we would end up with 96.4 coulombs, which is an enormous amount of charge. The repulsive force of the extra charge would be enormous. It would actually be pretty difficult to keep them on that little lead ball. But that gives you an idea that only one one thousand of an, uh, one electron for every one thousand uh, atoms on the lead ball would result in an enormous charge being placed on it. So it doesn't take a lot of electrons to build up a lot of charge on an object, just to give you kind of a feel for it. So anyway, that gives us a good feel of how things are being charged and discharged, sometimes by touching, sometimes simply by induction. And notice that it doesn't take a lot of electrons to build up a lot of charge, and that is how it's done.